Welcome Capricornio to Capricorn to um, I'm already editing out Tara. This is your beautiful love spread coming to you on this in November the 7th. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what part of the earth you are receiving this message. It just brings, just keeps me so motivated. Give me, um, let me know your um, comments. If it resides, let me know. And if it doesn't, well, then don't let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Father Almighty. Amen. We're going to receive two messages from these cards. About crooked. All right. We're going to receive two messages per station. Then we're going to receive a few other more messages to give clarity to this beautiful love spread for our wonderful Capricorns. All right. And then we're going to receive a very, very message. Okay. And I want to send a shout out to Miss Reese. What's up, Miss Reese? I love you. I miss you. God bless. God bless you all. All right. And we're going to begin this wonderful spread with one of these beautiful messages. To get the part started. Okay. All right. And your message is ton -ta -ta opportunity, opportunities. Um, wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you've, everything that you've ever experienced has helped you be, helped you in some way. The past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desires. The only person that can stop you from achieving all the happiness in this earth is yourself. Only you can stop yourself from achieving greatness. Here we have uh, come together. The fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done, and then you can go party, then you can start celebrating. You have to have a balance in your life, uh, Capricorn. It can't always just be work, work, work. There has to be play, play, play. And it, and it shouldn't be only be play, play, play. There needs to be work, work, work. So there has to be a balance. And here you're living your best life. You're living your best single life, very abundant, very happy. Uh, you're living your best life. And here with the uh, with the uh, five of pentacles, um, maybe somebody you you're feeling good, you're lo looking good, but maybe somebody feels like they're not good enough for you. So maybe somebody's sad that you're looking all good, feeling all good, and they don't feel all that good because you look so good, and they feel like you've left them out in the cold. And here we continue with the seven of wands. You're protecting your heart. You're protecting your feelings. You're not, uh, you, you're just protecting yourself, protecting your, your feelings. You're not letting your feelings be known because you, you're healing. You're, you're passing from a place that you, deception. You've, you've healed from this uh, hard transition, this lesson uh, that makes you be a better person. So every, everything that happens in life, even though it seems like the hardest situation, it truly does make you be a better version of yourself. So, so know that every transition in life, good, easy, or hard, the hard ones are the most unforgettable. They're the ones that stick with us and help us grow and love ourselves and value ourselves and know that we deserve all the greatness in this life. And the divine justice, uh, there's going to be justice if there's something in the there's going to be an offer of love that is divinely guided towards you. This offer is truthful, loyal, long-term Capricorn. This person comes with coins as well. So not only do they have a good heart um, and they're loyal and they love you and they want to offer you um, commitment, uh, they come in with a lot of funds. They, they're very wise with their money. All right, now we're going to receive a message from these beautiful cards for Capricorn news. For Capricorn. All right, let's see what our angels have to tell you. 
And your message, Capricorn, is let me fix this. It's such a these little ones are so hard to stay in place. About that. It looks like it's gonna win. Okay. <laughs> so your message from these beautiful cards is um, healing. You're definitely healing. You've surpassed a transition in your life and you're loving yourself. You're healing yourself. And here it says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So you're, 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 both of you guys are evolving. You're growing. You're loving yourselves. You're, you're appreciating each other. So you're appreciating the relationship. So it, so it, so it deepens. So the bond is deeper. Okay, okay, now we're going to do some clarification with the tarot. Let's see what our angels want to tell you on this love spread. I'm going to receive the two messages per station for our Capricorns on this beautiful 7th of November. On freaking believable. I'm going to have to start doing some... some uh, holiday shopping. I know that uh, seems early, but it really isn't because it'll be here before you know it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. And your message is uh, the devil with uh, definitely a very unstable uh, person. Someone who who wants to purely offer you physical contact. Uh, they don't even uh, stay for the whole night. They come to your refrigerator and they leave the empty container of milk in the refrigerator and they take the cereal with them. So be careful with this energy, um, Capricorn. This is an unstable energy. Someone who wants to keep you as an option. Someone who wants to keep you as a... As a Whenever they see that you're moving on, that, you're, that your energy is uh, detaching from them, they just pop back in. They, they don't want to make you happy, but they don't want anybody else to make you happy, Capricorn. So here we are. You are in your uh, element of, uh, uh, you know, you're protecting your heart. You're making intelligent decisions. Uh, you're not letting your heart get involved with your decision making. So logic over uh, over heart, so mind over heart, and you're the seven of the seven of ones came out twice. So you're definitely guarding your heart. You're definitely guarding your heart, and you're you're um, gonna expect the truth and nothing but the truth. New beginnings, new abundant beginnings, and and you're just you're just just in this element of loving yourself valuing yourself you know that you deserve great things and they're coming new beginnings with a lot of abundance and here you are definitely loving yourself nurturing yourself you're you're doing your feng shui you're doing your zumba you're eating better new beginnings that are going to bring you a lot of abundance and a lot of love you see things clearer look at that the tower and the rebirth you definitely see clearer clearer than ever you um you know what you want and you know what you deserve, Capricorn. So you're taking the right steps towards your happiness. You see clearly uh, life is too short. You're taking control of your life and you're, you're going towards your happiness. You're going towards your peace. Oh, amen. There's a lot of admirers. There's a, there's a lot of uh, success. There's a lot of... Um, just a lot of people admiring you and, and, and somebody wants to offer a commitment. Somebody wants to offer marriage. Somebody wants to make you laugh. Somebody wants to laugh with you for the rest of your lives. So there's definitely going to be success. Success. A lot of people are admiring you. A lot of people are looking at you, uh, wanting to hook up with you. So let's open our minds, Capricorn, and let's see what is out there. And let's not give our, our, our let's not have that contact and let's not give away our, our treasures. We need to get to know the person, see how they treat their family, see how they treat uh, the others, the servers. You know, all that is important. If they don't know how to treat people with respect, then they need to be just gone in my life. They need to be uh, good human beings and that know how to respect others. Otherwise, they're going to treat you like crap, just like they do. <laughs> Honestly, how they how they act with others is how eventually uh, they're going to treat you in the future. We're going to receive two messages, two messages for uh, clarity. 
All right, all right. Let's see what we got. And your message is uh, new beginnings in love, Santa Maria. See, you do know what you deserve. This is the lovers is a union that is divinely guided to you. You are divinely guided to them. So it is a new beginning. Somebody new is going to come stimulate, ignite your passion and feelings. And, and it's somebody who's going to stimulate you mentally, physically, emotionally, traditionally, long-term, loyal. So you're definitely not going to take back the devil or the little pony, the little pony, pony, the little pony that comes and goes, who drinks all the milk and leaves, puts a damn it, carton back in the refrigerator. That drives me up the wall. Here uh, we go with, um, you know that there's something grand in the horizon for you. You know that you deserve great things. It's taking a little time. There's factors that need to be resolved prior to it coming to you. But you need to make the step. You need to take the steps. You need to make the decisions and move forward towards your happiness, towards your happiness, towards your true love. And here, you, victory. Victory came out twice. The Six of Wands. So you're definitely receiving a lot of admirers. There's a lot of people admiring you. There's a lot of people looking at you. A lot of people won't hook up with you. Uh, why? Because look, you're a bunch of... You're so much fun to be around. You love life. You enjoy life. And you are just a fun, fun person to be around. And people see you as a marriage material. Long term long term a partnership of long term and here we have you working you're working hard on your coins uh, you're loving yourself you're letting everything just fall naturally where it needs to fall and you're just focusing on your future focusing on your coins we're wishing upon a star your wish is coming forth a lot of health a lot of peace a lot of love and you're creating healthy boundaries you're loving yourself you're not letting just anybody you're not going to jump on the first offer that is being given to you you will um uh, see uh, investigate and make intelligent decisions so you're making smart decisions towards your happiness towards somebody who's going to make you laugh for the rest of your days somebody who wants to laugh with you and enjoy life every day spiritually emotionally long term a lot of a lot of uh, success in this relationship Oh, I love it. I love it. I love my life. Let's see what else we have. We're going to receive a few more messages with these beautiful cards. All right. And your message is, look at that. Look how beautiful my cards are. Um, rewrite your story, rewrite your life story to how you would like for it to be. Release, feel peace. Now, sleep subliminals. Sleep subliminals. All right, so love yourself. Know that this is your life. This is your life. Live it the way you want to live it. Know that people, you will never please people. You can only try to please yourself. And even that is a difficult task emotional intimacy healing relationship with the self inner child proceeds successfully relationships love is energy so you're loving yourself uh, you're learning how to open your heart to love and embrace others and and if you're having contact make sure you're protecting yourself um, and here we go with the grass is a greener passing up options too quick to decide Take time to know them. Gravitate changes. So, so let's let's enjoy. The beginning of a relationship is the most uh, the most um, important. Let's get to know each other. Let's let's know how they treat the others before we we give all our treasures to them. Before we have uh, contact, physical contact with them. So let's let's really learn. Let's let them know what our goals are, what we want out of life, and let's make sure that their values and their vision is similar to yours. So so the union will be a prosperous one. And here we go with the Mr. and Mrs. Fix It. Don't try to fix others. Heal yourself to attract the best, a better partner. People pleasing. 
trust the process so love yourself know that you are perfectly made and and let's let let's heal and love ourselves and then you will you will attract people that are healed that are that are vibing just as high as you that want the same things in life as you do destructive habits addictions to gambling alcohol sex negatively impact relationships toxic thinking and behavior so um, obviously and I do I keep a, a specifying this if in your partnership you don't feel like they're uplifting you if they don't make you laugh if they suppress you and oppress you then that's not okay life is too short you must love yourself and know that that what you accept from others it is your choice because you could say no you could walk away there's too many people on this earth to have somebody destroy your peace and your joy nobody has that right and you should not give anybody that right all right capcorns let's move on here with a message from this beautiful uh, card what our angels are gonna tell you what our angels want to let you know all right and your message on this beautiful uh, love spread is dun, 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 not today uh, not dealing with hurt avoiding a certain conversation a call a person boundaries still angry so you don't want to communicate with anybody you're, you're you're trying to heal yourself you're you're trying to gather your thoughts before before you accept the communication from somebody you don't want to say something that you're going to regret later and now we're going to finalize this love spread capricorn with two messages one from our angels and one from what does your person in mind want to tell you at this moment what does uh, your person in mind want to verbalize to you? Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Um, and, and please, please, you know, press a little thumbs up if, if it resides with you. And here we go. Message from the angels. New love. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things are coming your way. And uh, what does your person in mind want to verbalize to you right now? What does your person in mind want to tell you? I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. I'm sorry I screwed up. There you go. This is your message, Capricorn. Uh, God bless to you all.